we doing, Bamba? Are we out on the beach? Look at all these rocks. You can't eat them. They're not food. Do you like the water? Is it so pretty? Hmm? Hmm? What's Mama just doing? Mm. You don't want to tell me? I was making some popsicles in the summertime here in Cake, maybe other places too. Um, usually a couple families will sell um, like, it's like half Jello, half Kool-Aid popsicles. And I've really wanted one like the last three nights, but every time I want one after dinner, it's like too late to make them and have them freeze in time. So today I finally made them early enough. It's like 1130 that they'll be frozen by the time I want a popsicle. Huh, bon bon. Is that what mama was working on? Were you eating toast? Is that so yummy? Are you saying hi? Good job. Oh, can you do it? Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. Here we are at graduation for Cake High School 2020 due to coronavirus. We've had to take things a little bit out of the ordinary, so we have a drive-in graduation. It's all going to be pretty unique. They've just done the delivery of the roses, so that's pretty cool. All my roses there, I'm pretty proud of these kids. I wish I could get out and give them all a big hug, but unfortunately, due to social distancing, I can't do that yet. So. Any of you graduating seniors watching this, I'm extremely proud of you guys. Good luck.
stem cap and like up this uh, twin legs and that. All the way out there. Yeah. And I'm looking at it. You can go like crazy out there on fire. But also, if you took your. You got me. Your, your All right. We're doing some rhubarb today. Haven't harvested this stuff yet. Have harvested down there. First round, we'll probably do more than one round today. We'll see how many people want to trade. We're going to try to do some trades for some smoke fish, uh, salmon eggs, and anything delicious. But yeah, our rhubarb's sure going crazy, and we need to thin it out so that it can keep growing and give us lots more. So that's what I'm working on today. Guys, I have been waiting so long to be able to put this on bonbon. Uh, the secretary at the school that well I when I was pregnant I was working there and Joe works there still and um, she got into making cuss books and she found a little pattern to make Bonnie a little cuss book and so it's like a little onesie that she found and then she put the fabric on and it's so cute guys thank you so much Debbie it's adorable she looks so cute. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. And her Grammy got her those slippers for um, Easter, but they didn't come in in time. So she gets to wear them now. Since we're on quarantine and we can't travel, um, it's uh, a little bit hard to get your haircut in the village anyway. And since we can't travel out to get a haircut or my sister-in-law can't come in to give me a good haircut, um, we're going to have a village haircut. So haircut. hopefully it works out. So for Christmas, Joe got me this um, microwave popcorn, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. I've never tried it yet. Okay, so there's bags. And then it literally is corn on the cob. And you put it in the bag. And you microwave it. What? Big. <laughs> Crazy. It's just corn on the cob. I'm gonna put it in the brown paper bag and it's just a microwave for one to two minutes. So we'll see if it works. Um, we had friends go out for seaweed and they got more than they anticipated so they gave us some and we're gonna show you what we do with seaweed first we usually pick it in these um, their uh, pillowcases so we just put it in there but here's the seaweed right now 
it's all wet and kind of gross and I don't know maybe some people hated that cut we don't um and we have like I mean we're born and raised Alaskans so like my family has old sheets that they use every time we dry seaweed so I'm about to lay these out and I'll show you what happens after all right we got the sheets all laid out and anchored down it's a little bit windy you can see the, the wind blowing through them now we're gonna spread out some seaweed on them next step I dumped seaweed out onto the um, old bed sheets and try to dump it out a little bit evenly I might have to move it around now I'm gonna try to spread it out so that they can start to dry in the Sun all right we got the first kind of spreading out done and guys this is a really long process like this will take sometimes a couple days besides just going out and picking it if you want to harvest something from the land it takes a lot of work you gotta it's not just given to you most of the time you gotta work for it so we but it's so yummy so delicious and it's worth it when you get to have some indian popcorn all right i had to go put bonnie down for a nap and i haven't touched this at all since i first laid it out in the last video so you can already see how much it's started drying so we'll go and flip it and um we also have to start taking out any uh, little shells like this this tiny little shell you would totally know when you ate it that that was in there because it'd be real crunchy but then there's like i know this is gross but there's like bugs that you gotta take out before you grind it up because you don't want that in your food um yeah because it's you know it's right from the rocks on the, in the ocean so you gotta take out all the all the stuff in it so gross Ew. It's so big. That's gross. Mm. We're grinding the seaweed now. Here's some that has been ground. This is what we started with. It was too dry. Now this is a little bit damper and it's going a lot better. And they discovered that they have to put in less seaweed than I what we were. Where'd my seaweed now? All right, so we finished grinding the seaweed yesterday and this is how much we have from that beginning. It shrinks so much. Um, and we brought it in last night and then we put it on the table and today it is a little bit rainy and not very sunny. So we just have it out on the table still and hopefully it'll be sunny tomorrow so that we can put it back outside. <laughs> 